Sometimes the day doesn't end when those idle hands reach the promised land, when they lock their grasp tightly together in a coupled nightly joining, a confluence of timing, gathering to praise the moon before they part again. Sometimes they are praising too soon, and time carries on in a peculiar pattern. Sometimes the clock chimes thirteen times. The veil between worlds faintly shines, splitting the universe in two. Those haunted few pouring through so they can stagger these streets on their ill-fitting borrowed feet. It clicks with a creak, not a tick, so to speak, more like the lid of a coffin being tweaked. The bells don't ring, they chime with laughter, evil and menacing. The pendulum doesn't swing, it slices into the segmented hours, cutting them into bite-sized chunks, hunks of meat, much easier to devour. The clock perseveres, carries on to welcome over the evil ones. It doesn't tick or chime, the sound more severe. It flitters across the grimacing face, severing the threads one by one until time is erased and it stands alone, with just its own sands of time for company, echoing a dull ringing in the ears perpetually. Minutes can be hours, seconds can last for eternity, Moments become mountains or untimely cosmic monstrosities. The clock chimes. Eleven. Twelve. And we delve into the nighttime spell, expecting silence to now dwell. But that sound rings again. Thirteen. Only this time... It screams in pain, an echo from somewhere unseen. Far away in the undercurrent of an animal growl, it howls like wolves asking the moon for guidance. We could go into hiding, probably should. Because in this mysterious time, there is no good. Just the slow rumble of the clock spinning, the seconds and minutes tumble, whilst the hands stay exactly where they are, air thinning and hollow, and the hours never seem to follow.